sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with more about the cheating scandal, the uh, Houston Astros slash Boston Red Sox cheating scandal, because it's the story that just won't die. So, um, I think the last video I did was like the day that all of this went down and um, A.J. Hinch had been suspended for a year and um, Jeff Lunau had been suspended for a year and then they were both fired and my video said yes, they had been fired. And so both of them are out of work. They would have been out of work until after the World Series was over anyway, but they're out of work even after that, at least at this point. So, so they are, for the time being, they're out of baseball. Personally, I think that one or both of them will probably get another shot somewhere down the line. Lunau knows, I mean, the way he put the Astros together from the crappiest team in the history of man to... A World Series champion regardless of whether it was done by cheating or not you still have to have the talent to get even anywhere near that and we'll get to that in a little while so you want to stick around for that but they're out of work so then um, the investigation also covered the Boston Red Sox and apparently they misused the electronics to steal signs under their new manager, Alex Cora. Well, new manager, like, he's been there for two years, so he's relatively new. But Alex Cora was the bench coach for the Astros in 2017. So, and he was the mastermind of the whole thing, really. I mean, he's the one, he was the catalyst that ran it when it was in Houston. And then he went to Boston, and he kind of continued on in that same vein with the Boston Red Sox, running a similar system as the manager of the Red Sox. So now, on top of all of this, we also now have another casualty, and that is Carlos Beltran. And Carlos Beltran was not going to be um, punished by Major League Baseball because the commissioner had said that all players are immune from punishment in relation to this scandal. And there's two really big reasons for that. The first reason is that in doing their investigation, Major League Baseball needed to talk to the players. And if the players knew that, there, that they could be suspended or fined or get in any other kind of related trouble like that, they would have been less likely to be forthcoming with Major League Baseball's investigation of the scandal. The other reason is that the players are covered or um, protected in a way by the, um, by the Players Association. So the Players Association would have taken Major League Baseball to court on all of these if they had, if they had decided that there were, because there were, I mean, it was practically the entire team of Astros that were that were definitely that were position players that had to go up to the plate and even the pitchers really knew about it evidenced by the fact that the guy who really broke the story was mike fires who used to pitch for the astros in 2017 so um they um you know i mean you you don't want to be in a situation where you have to fight the players union tooth and nail on you know 15 players that you know were all involved in the scandal. So that was another reason that players were protected. And Carlos Beltran during 2017 with the Astros was a player. 
So, Major League Baseball was going to take no action against him. But the Mets decided to. They had hired him as the manager um, recently in this offseason and now have to fire him, which was embarrassing for them. Um, and I want to say also, he's not the manager of the Mets. Now, we're not sure that the Mets fired him or whether he stepped down. He may have stepped down according to one of the correspondents who I don't like at all for CBS, one of the baseball guys for CBS, David Sampson, said that there's no way that Carlos Beltran resigned. He also said the same thing about Cora, that there's no way that Cora resigned. Is that really true? I mean, do you really know that? Because I'll tell you one thing, if it was me, and the scandal was around me, and I was being, you know, I was in uh, in this report by the the managers, the the uh, not the managers, the uh, by the Major League Baseball's front office. If my name was all over this report, and I was managing a team, and I was involved in the scandal, I would probably offer to step down because you know I can't really do my job effectively. The players wouldn't. I would lose the respect of at least some of the players, probably. And the press wouldn't believe anything that I said. And if I had won a lot of games, you know, and went back to the playoffs, everybody would say, well, yeah, he probably did that because he was cheating. So, you know, this David Sampson guy pretends like he knows and he talks to everybody like they're, you know, preschoolers. Ridiculous. That guy needs to be, they need to replace him, CBS does. But anyway, I'm getting off track. Car, um, Carlos Beltran is out of a job. Whether he resigned, whether the Mets fired him, whether they sat down with him and talked with him and they came to a mutual agreement that he should leave, who knows? Nobody really does know, including David Sampson. But here is... Um, so, I mean, he's the latest domino to fall. And so now this whole scandal has cost three managers their jobs and one general manager. And we don't even know really if that's the end of it because we don't know what um, the sanctions are going to be hit, you know, what sanctions Boston is going to be hit with as an organization because the uh, Major League Baseball investigation on, into Boston's um, hijinks is still going on. The only reason that Cora isn't managing the Red Sox and that we know that is because the Red Sox fired him. They got out ahead and they fired him before anything even came out from Major League Baseball as a punishment. And Cora will get a punishment from Major League Baseball in addition to the fact that the Red Sox fired him. So, so this scandal is really costing a lot of people their jobs. And um, it's, but it's really, it's taken on its own life and it's getting crazy. People are like fans of the Dodgers, fans of the Yankees are saying that they were cheated, that they were cheated out of a, out of, uh, like the Yankees are saying they were cheated out of a World Series appearance. The Dodgers are saying they were cheated out of a World Series victory. Really? No. We don't know that, for one thing. Okay, we really don't know that. And even if there was cheating going on, the Astros players still had to hit those pitches. I mean, you know, the example I use, and I used to, I also am one that didn't think there was a, the, 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 uh, that the steroid scandal was that big of a deal because everybody was doing it. But the thing that I would tell anybody about, and I'm going to combine the both of them. I could do all the steroids I want and you could tell me before I went up to the plate facing, you know, whoever, Kershaw, let's say, 
you, you can put me on steroids for a year and put me up at the plate against Kershaw and tell me what Kershaw is going to throw. And guess what? I'm not going to hit the pitch. So, and, uh, and there was another guy who said he viewed um, one of the games, just one. He admitted it was a small sample size. But he viewed one of the games and he waited and he heard for when, you know, whatever the, the uh, Astros players came up to the plate and trash cans were being banged and whatever. And the only thing he saw that really benefited the Houston Astros was that um, Springer hit a home run. There was one particular pitch that Springer hit a home run on, which, and he may have known exactly what the pitch was. But he said everything else was fouling it off, getting outs, grounding out, hitting fly balls. That's what everything else was. You know, even when he heard a trash can banging. So I'm not buying into this stuff that, you know, that the Astros really wouldn't have won the World Series or really shouldn't have gotten to the World Series or, you know, any of that. That's all garbage. They were a good team. They are still a good team, and they're still going to win a lot of games without cheating, or at least not being able to do it as much. I mean, I don't think baseball is going to be able to completely clean it up, but they're certainly not going to do it as blatantly and as much as they did. Um, and they're still going to win. You can sit back and watch if you want, but they're still going to be a, a very good team. So, you know, that's a bunch of bunk that, you know, they, you know, all these people, oh, oh, my Dodgers, they got, they got shafted. No, they didn't get shafted. They just didn't play well enough to beat the Astros. Plus, in any World Series, half the games are at the other team's home stadium, home park. So... Even if it's not exactly half, like if it goes seven, maybe the Dodgers only had three games at home while the Astros had four. Well, all right, but you still had three games at home. So I'm not buying it. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's this whole situation is taking a lot of people down, and there's probably some more that are going to be taken down. But I had to get out there. I had to get the video out. You know, that because now Beltran's lost his job and Cora lost his job since the last time. And the, the Boston penalty still hasn't even come down. So we'll see what happens this year. But um, uh, And now the managerial search is underway for Boston and for Houston. Um, and the Houston also has to decide who their general manager is going to be. And Boston may have to decide who their general manager is going to be. And now the Mets also have to find another manager. So um, it's uh, this whole thing has kind of just really exploded. And uh, I mean, it's a shame, but I mean, I think it's just crazy, though, how people are just really getting way too bent out of shape about it. Um, so anyway, what do you guys think? Um, I mean, what do you think of the whole scandal? Anything you want to add? Um, you know, I, I, I've heard it all from, you know, like people have said that they think Cora will be banned for life, and he might be. I don't know. Who knows? I'm not going to be like David Sampson and pretend like, you know, I'm a know-it-all and I know what's going to happen. But yeah, maybe he will get banned for life. Um, personally, I don't think he should be. I don't think anybody that was involved with this scandal for at any degree of involvement should be banned for life. And I also didn't think that Pete Rose should have been banned for life. That also should not have happened. So, you know, um, you know, take that for what it is. And, um, but anyway, 
that's my that's my soapbox for right now. Um, I don't know if I'll do another follow up video when the Boston penalties come down. Um, depends maybe on how severe they are, how many people are caught up in the web. Um, but um, that's what we got right now is Beltran, Hinch, Cora, and Lunau all out of work. All related to the uh, to the scandal. But that's it for me for right now. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.